Hi guys, hope you're having a great day. Just wanted to give you a quick review of this um, little liquid transfer pump as seen on TV that I picked up. And uh, it is a battery operated pump. A little photo of it right here. I'm currently using it. It's my first time using it. And uh, it seems to actually be working quite well. And it's a lot nicer than having to tip this uh, uh, jerry can and if you've ever worked with these cans, you know that they're kind of notorious for just spilling out the sides, even with this like fancy cap that I have uh, with the pressure release and all that. It's, there's no way you can get gas into your car without getting a little bit of spillage. And this thing is uh, making its way through this uh, gas quite quickly. Uh, I'm already it's only been on for about a minute and a half and I'd say it's a good three and a half gallons through already uh, looks like I only have about this much left of of the can I can I can see it I don't know if you can see it on on the camera that's the line right there um, so I woke up this morning car was kind of low on gas where I live here is a little further away from a gas station than I feel comfortable risking so I figured, hey, why not uh, finally try out this pump that I've, I've actually had this for quite some time and haven't used it. Um, so let me turn it off real quick and show you what it looks like. So it looks like when you turn it off, it kind of drains itself, which is nice. So the tip looks like that. So it can stand in a very shallow uh, scenario and still pump water out so you are gonna have a tiny bit of gas left at the end of the tank that you probably won't be able to pump out but for the most part that's probably what you want because you don't want the sediments from the uh, bottom of the uh, can to pump out and so anyway you just uh, put this end sorry you, you know the end like that you just put it in it's just like a very cheap uh, little tube here you put that in, press the button, and presto, uh, I guess it starts flowing right away. So it says on this box that it can pump gas, water, oil, and other non-corrosive liquids. That's pretty impressive that it can do, because these, as you know, these three things gas water and oil they couldn't be any more different when it comes to designing a device that can handle all three um i don't know uh I, my preference is with something like this to maybe just use it for one of those three things uh because you don't want to like you don't want to have gas remnants in there and then use it for water and you don't want to mix oil with any of those two two things um so anyway, uh, so far, I'd say my review is that it is quite good. It actually just finished while we were talking that last gallon and a half. So I'm tipping it over a bit to get, and you can see I'm starting to get more and more bubbles and it is starving. So, so there's, a, there's, a, there's this last bit here and you see it, it actually like sucks it back in. Uh, so yeah, um, hope this helped make your uh, purchase decision. I think a, a tool like this can, that can kind of neatly tuck away in your truck or in your car or whatever uh, without taking up too much room is invaluable because uh, the alternatives are always messy. I mean, I haven't gotten a single drop of this on myself or on here, and I was not particularly cautious about what I was doing. Uh, so anyway, um, hope that, uh, this helped you and, uh, leave comments below. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them and hope this, uh, helped you make your, uh, purchase decision.